right, here we go. How's it going, guys? It's Harrison. Um, and this is the first episode of a new series I'm doing. You can tell by the thumbnail title, the HR movie department with Rob on my left. Yes, my left. How we doing? How we doing? Um, as you can tell by the title and thumbnail, we're doing Shutter Island. And to give a little bit of context of what this series will be, like every few weeks, every week, whatever, however, whenever mine and Rob's schedule align, we will talk about a film and this week is shutter island and i watched it by your recommendation didn't i you yeah, recommended yeah. it to me and it'd been on my netflix watch list for fucking ever and yeah that's just what we're going to talk about um i wanted to just say a couple things before we get in so i was looking on rotten tomatoes i was just like have a little bit of a uh little bit of a exploration. It got 68%. Fair play. Do you, do you mean, agree with 78? Do you think it should be more? Is, is that actually like, isn't that nice for Rotten Tomatoes? Are they that, like really strict? It depends on the movie. It really, okay, yeah. like, so there's some movies where like, it's wild how it's gotten as much as it has. For me personally, I, I think this is quite low. Four. Yeah, that that's that's fairly low. Like 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 I, I mean, I've I've got a rating out of ten, which I'll announce at the end for it. Um, that's low compared to that. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, and on IMDb, a bit more of a reliable uh, source, uh, some would like say, eight point two out of ten. See, see, I, I I do agree with that. Yeah, yeah, that's a very good rating. That's a very good rating. Yeah. Yeah, I do think the eight point two is a little bit um. A little bit, what's the word I'm looking for? A um, little bit more fair, I guess. Is that the right word? I don't know. Re- realistic. Realistic, yeah, that's a good word, to be fair. But before we get into our little review, I'll just read the little synopsis for anyone who hasn't watched it. Well, I mean, if you haven't watched it, there will be spoilers in the episode, in the here, in here. All right. Um, so, synopsis. In 1954, a U.S. marshal investigates the disappearance of a murder. Murder, murderer, not murder, who escaped from a hospital for the criminally insane. So, Rob, do you want to kick us off with your review? Um, yeah, I'm going to go for it. So, I mean, it's 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 one of Scorsese's, I think, one, one of his great films, really, that, that he's, he's made. Um, and, and like you said, you know, it's it's um, the actual place they go into um, is, is full of kind of these mental mentally ill uh i don't want to say prisoners but i guess patients i guess yeah, yeah patients is the right word for it um and um i think scorsese opens up what is like a whole new meaning to what it's like to have a mental illness um mm. the theme of you know like he's got that theme of being tricked all the while through kind of like what what they what what these kind of patients are kind of driven towards and and, and you know yeah, their their own likes and, and and interests and and how that kind of there's a big theme of obviously like what you know I guess I guess the word is kind of those throwbacks that they're, they're to their own memory obviously by Teddy mm. Daniels who's who's the main character played by Leonardo DiCaprio um, you know he he's got he he's got some issues from the past and you know Scorsese reflects on that kind of past tense and and um shows what's happening in 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 the present as well but yeah it's a whole he's he's done it it's, it is a masterpiece in my in my sense because you do see a whole new meaning um to to this theme of of what it's like to have a mental illness which which puts a great kind of shine and and mm. respect onto that in a, in a very dark film i will say as well um and obviously the big reveal at the end to what we find out is is crazy as well yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, I do. I do agree. I I think in its own way, it is a masterpiece. And something you touched on there, something obviously I know you are and myself, big advocate on mental health within, uh, within uh, like cinema, film, TV shows being reflected well. And again, yeah, like it's, it's done brilliantly. Um, I also... <sighs> When you were watching it, was there any point while you were watching it where you kind of clocked what was happening, or were you completely oblivious throughout until the reveal? Um, I, 
that's a very good question um because because when, when these kind of big reveals always happen you kind of think back to yourself oh was there any clues along the way and then you think that you know that that was an obvious one so i think the obvious one was was chuck played by mark ruffler he mm. he constantly asked his his boss teddy um if he was okay but in general that was obviously uh, the whole film's through teddy's perspective yeah in general that was that was literally just chuck being the healthcare worker that he is working there and, and well he's not a healthcare worker he's actually a psychiatrist i believe isn't he mm. um like obviously he like has a has a bit of a higher profession in terms of speaking to them um and that's just him in general just asking if he's okay in general you know that that's literally it um so yeah that that was one of the big ones where like i kind of wanted to slap myself in the face and go oh why didn't i not see that but it yeah yeah no to be completely honest i didn't I, and, yeah. and that was what made it so magical you know that's that's why i i you know suggested it for the first film yeah yeah it was brilliant recommendation to be honest <laughs> um yeah i think with, so with me um there's the scene where it's the storm is happening and then they go into that that, that building and it's just mark ruffalo and Leonardo dicaprio and um mark ruffalo makes uh says I'm paraphrasing a bit here. I can't remember the exact quote. Um, it's like, what I think it's along the lines of, what about whilst you were checking into them, they were checking into you? That's where I started to clock on, like, maybe um, Ben Kingsley. It is Ben Kingsley, isn't it? Yeah, Ben Kingsley, um, yeah. yeah. His, I thought his character maybe had a little bit more to him and that he didn't like um, Teddy, Daniel, T- Teddy Daniels. Um I never thought he was um, Andrew. I can't remember the surname of. Oh, oh um, yeah. Brain I, fart. I, I exactly but I, did, I didn't think yeah. he was Andrew. I thought Andrew was on the island. Um, yeah. But I didn't put those two together. But at that point, I was kind of like, I think there's a little bit more to what, than what we're being led to believe. Um, but I thought, did, right, pacing. What, like, did you enjoy the pacing of this film? Did it feel too slow, too fast, or was it just right? I will say it went off track some of the time. Some yeah. of the time it went off track. You know, like they, you know, Scorsese, he, he set off a theme to begin with, with, with it being a very kind of slow paced. Um, you know, us, us kind of finding out with, with what is what on the island. You know, we're, we're, we're certainly like part of the investigation with, with both Teddy and Chuck. And then all of a sudden it kind of goes off a bit where, um, I think, well, I believe Teddy, Teddy has like an, um, has a kind of a clue of where to go in the island and the pace just increases. And it's kind of, if, if you put your head down for, for just under yeah. a minute, you know, you've, you've kind of lost it then. Um, so, so that's, that's what he has to be kind of careful of, which, um, yeah, one of the drawbacks in the film, definitely. Yeah. I think I don't he's, know how you felt with it, but I see. I do agree. It did uh, there were certain assets where it was like, okay, it's a little gone off a bit to the side. But I think it also it works in the film's favour because mm. we like when it's a film. I think you like when you rewatch it, you like it even more um, because you then pick up on like the different things happening and like, oh, why didn't I notice that on the first watch? Like and stuff um like perspective is everything within this film i think um and we're slowly and i think what makes it good with how slow paced it is is we're slowly losing our minds as well mm, along yeah. with teddy and it's it, it may it may get you thinking and i think if a film gets you thinking in the way this film does you know it's a good film yeah, um, yeah, no, 100%. 100%. It, it's like just to say as well, like, yeah, I, it, this was a film where, um, like, I, I mean, I, I kind of picked up my love of film in college when I took media, and this was one of the films that I, I studied because it was linked to the genre that I was producing at the time of my film, which is a psychological thriller. That yeah. is what, like, it's one of the, my favorite genres, just it's it's completely like you, you kind of. It, it has the same effect as a horror where you're on the edge of your seat, but also at the same time, they do it in such an intelligent way, you know? Um, and the ending's always got a twist, which is obviously this film's all about. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because what I do love is we're straight into it. There's no, like, backstory on Teddy. I mean, understandably, there's no backstory. We're straight in. He's throwing it on the boat. And 
the first shot we see of Teddy is him looking into the mirror. And within a lot of film, that's uh, like something to do with um, like maybe the main character isn't all there up here. And it's just, it is brilliant because you watch it and you see all of the, um, like even the staff, when you rewatch it, you kind of clock like the way they look at him is different to how they would look at a US Marshal. And, um, you know, when he goes into the, like the, the big, like the prison uh, section. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. And there's that outbreak. And then Mark Ruffalo and um, like just a, work, a member of staff there, they're taking someone else. And the staff members just says to Teddy, fuck off, essentially. And it's like, when you rewatch that or rewatch that scene, you kind of clock on why he's like that because yeah he knows um and i uh, there, there's so many things about this film which i love and that again that's just what makes this film so good in my opinion like it's yeah like you say there, there, there are those clues like specifically in the prison where um mm. yeah you kind of you kind of have a, an inkling uh, as such to kind of say yeah it's it's Teddy who's actually a patient here. Um, yeah, yeah, I think, like, the fact that they kind of, like you said, you know, they kind of quoted, like, you know, why don't you fuck off? They literally said that to a man with his authority and his role. Kind of yeah. shows shows how um, it's unconventional completely, you know. Um, yeah, which is clever because, it's you know, it, it, it does mean that some of us will kind of potentially crack it, crack, crack what's going on there. Yeah. And even with like the the reveal, um, yeah, it, the scene of like it makes me wonder why the fuck we had to wait so long for DiCaprio to win an Oscar. Yeah, yeah, literally. Like, <laughs> he, he, he's, he's done such a good job here. Yeah, he's able to just put, put like portray like anger, fear, sadness confusion all on one face and mm. i know like you might get some cynical prick out there saying like well that he's an actor he should be able to do that but actors can do that but not on that sort of level yeah and he does it effortlessly it feels and especially like the um the flashback on what caused his uh caused this mental oh. illness yeah <laughs> like what, 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 when you're re-watching it for the first time or whatever, what's going through your head during that? Like, It was, well, this is the thing. This is why I kind of, you know, Scorsese's done such a good job because he, he is showing, like, the meaning of, of what it's like to have a mental illness. You know, it's, it, it that, that backs, it, I think, yeah, he's showing that everyone has, like, a backstory. And um, obviously, specifically, it's kind of like, I think what he tries to do as well is test the audience's perception on this theme of good versus evil. It's kind of, he, he's always kind of going, that flashback is massive because it's always kind of, it, it's got us talking basically, mm. you know, like it, it's got us talking of like whether he was a good guy or not, you know, it's very hard to, to know. Um, and I think overall is like, it's, he, he, you know, Scorsese kind of proves the point of that, that famous quote of, you know, never judge a book by its cover, you know, that everyone's done stuff for a specific reason, you know, and you kind of, you see, you see a whole new, new side of Teddy there, you know, of, of being like that kind of normal human citizen and, and reacting to something like that. And it kind of, it's kind of there to say, you know, it was never him who was, who was mentally insane. It was his wife, you know, and he's picked up the pieces for her massively. Yeah. It, yeah it, you've put it beautifully there you kind of mentioned as well on if he's a good guy and it's do you think teddy is the good guy in this film or is he the antagonist or protagonist oh, man i oh, see it's hard it's, it's, it's really hard to like and i think that, that, that's why it's so good because like it will mean you will rewatch it and and, and that's Scorsese's achievement and everything great there. I think he's, I want to say he's the protagonist. Yeah. 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 I Throughout, as, as... even with the twist. 
It's difficult. It is difficult. You, you kind of want like a middle ground option. Yeah. Here, don't you, to kind of say, but if you had to pick one or the other, yeah, it's not throughout, but certainly, certainly towards the end, I'd say a protagonist. Mm. Yeah, yeah. He, he's, uh, yeah. What he, what what the character went through is just insane. Um, yeah. <laughs> what, 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 what what do you think? Is is he good or bad? <laughs> oh, it's it's difficult because it's like everything he does during the film. You're thinking. Like, without knowing the twist, without knowing that, because I've watched it, this was the first time I watched it. You're thinking, like, this guy, like, you feel scared for him, like, you feel trapped. And he, he like, it's weird. He, he, in his mind, the character he makes in Teddy Daniels, um, he knows, he, he knows he's trapped, but yet he also makes his alternate persona trapped as well in a different sense. So we feel trapped with him um on the island but when we get the twist we feel trapped in a different way where we understand that he's trapped in here because he doesn't want to accept what happened and i think when we see what happened there's the justification for what he done there is a justification is yeah, it obviously what he done wasn't right you like you, you you can't just kill someone um but you can it's a beautifully written character in that he could be considered the antagonist within this and i think with a good antagonist similar he's not the same but similar in the sense of loki where you feel sorry for him yeah and that's where i think the conversation then sparks is is he the hero just a troubled hero um yeah that's probably a, a great way of putting it. it yeah troubled hero definitely but one thing i i, might, I have to guess it, the one thing that genuinely did break my heart a little bit is at the end where mark ruffalo's character comes up talks to him offers him a cigarette and Leo just looks at him and just calls him Chuck. And then he looks yeah. over and Mark Ruffalo looks over and just shakes his head. And I'm just like, oh, I, yeah. come on, man. <laughs> yeah, it's, that, that does hurt massively. It, it's kind of, and I think at that point, it's kind of like, wow, this is, this is what they've all had to be put through this, this whole time. So I, I think another way of seeing it is the, the film as well is not, not how, how hard it is to have a mental illness, but also how hard it is for, for people to kind of care for others yeah. with that mental illness, you know, that, that, that like how, mm. how unpractical it is massively. I, I will say as well, I, I just, I've only just thought of this as well. I think um, the way he's so driven to be a detective it shows the good in him as well because obviously yeah. there's an actual case there isn't there? well no no there isn't an actual case there mm. but they've, they've kind of made this case up to to kind of get through to him a bit more you know with, with, with everything and i think how well driven he is and and that he wants justice to be solved and 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 you know made up there shows that li- well that, that that good of him he, he has that good heart that's that's kind of why i think i'd say it towards him. See at the end, we, you know, well, not just at the end, but throughout the whole film, we kind of find out more about him and how he is, like you say, a troubled hero. Yeah, it, it's, 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 I think, again, what makes this film so good is it gets us talking. Like, there's, there's yep. two sides to everything within this film there's the justification and, What's the, uh, and like there, there's two justifications for each side like is he good in what he done is he right in what he done and is he is he bad and is he wrong in what he done um and i can't help but i still can't decide and i think once we like again like that's what makes a good film in my opinion if you can go out yeah. talk about it and i mean scorsese i mean he is he is a genius Oh yeah, yeah. And uh, like I said, so on Rotten Tomatoes, it got sixty-six percent. I personally, th- oh sixty-eight percent. Sorry. Let me let me read the critics' cons- con- consensus. Um, it may not rank with Scorsese's best work, 
but Shutter Island's glee- gleefully unapologetic genre of thrills represent the director at his most unrestrained. Doesn't get a lot. I'm going to re- read you a couple reviews. So the first review that comes up is actually a rotten review, a negative review. It's supposed to be some sus- suspenseful thriller. Somebody should have said, hey, why don't you go see the hilarious comedy of Shutter Island? Wow. <laughs> and I don't know how you could... Like, I, I, again, it's an opinion at the end of the day, and I think that's why this is going to be so good, because as we go on, we're not always going to be watching the best films. Um, like I've said, like when we spoke about doing this, I said to you, I don't want to just pick films that I love all the time. I'm going to pick a shit film one yeah, day. Yeah, yeah. Um, and sorry, what? <laughs> what were you saying? I just, I just think it can't comedy. That sounds weird, yeah. isn't it? Good, like, obviously, a comedy you laugh at, and it wasn't anything like to laugh at. This film was it? No. You know? no I, I know. Obviously, they're saying that as if to, to show like the failure of the film and how like it didn't even make them feel suspenseful. But it's, I don't know. Yeah, it's weird. Mm. Yeah, it, it, like like you said, it's just a bit. Like I see, the, I'm reading like the um, like so the worst of Scorsese's career by a long, long way, and I'm like, mm, is it? Is it though? But the masterpiece, yeah, well, like, yeah. Like, masterpiece might be a big, a big word for it, but it's, you know, like if everyone's going in there knowing what's already happened, then of course, right, you know, rate, rate it and review it bad, but like that twist at the end wins it completely. Mm. Oh, a hundred percent. And well, I think all the performances are brilliant uh, throughout. Yeah. Look, like, did this? I should have really read. Did this film win any awards? Um, you know what? I I feel for individual performances. Obviously, I think Leo's won something. But um, I'm searching it up. Um, oh, yeah. awards. Um. Academy of Science Fiction Fantasy Horror Films USA, Best Production Design, um, Best uh, Leonardo got Best Actor at the a Saturn Award for Best Actor nominee. Got nominated for a lot. It did get nominated. Uh, trying to think, is there any Academy? It's crazy. I, like, I truly do think, um, like the fact he didn't even get nominated because. He portrays that mental illness so well, and even yeah. in like the flashbacks and everything, like I felt. Like... I, I think it's it's weird as well because I I think I know I, I think this this film's had a massive impact more more ways than one because I think this this is a film that like yeah I picked out for I I, I picked out myself to to review uh, in college but like I think it's a film that you know students doing GCSE last year of GCSE you know I think it's a or like certainly like a film that they they practice for um mm. to like review it you know because it is such a good speaking point of a, of a film you know like you say it's it's kind of like one of those that share the line with like mice and men as in it's got such a gripping story and so many opinions yeah 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 it, Again. in that kind of like educational kind of like viewpoint, mm. you know and it's brilliant especially like when you go on to like the like the schools aspect you can have so many different viewpoints in this film um like you can have again like we said there's there's two sides to everything everything that happens there's t- there's what you see for your first time watching and then there's the rewatch and you yeah. kind of understand why he's doing everything he, he is yeah and it's just even when he's being a detective you don't really like you realize when you rewatch, you realize there's so many different things happening, but you also don't realize they're happening. Like it's so yeah. weird. And again, like like we've said multiple times, in our opinion, it is a masterpiece. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I definitely call it that. Yeah, Every, everything clicks and, and falls together nicely. Hmm. So I have a question. Rating out of ten. Rating out of ten. So. I'm gonna go for an eight, and I've got two last kind of points to. Yeah, answer. yeah, yeah. It's kind of so. One, one thing I was gonna say. Is it, 
smart in the way of he only needed this one location to get this high rating. Mm. So like a lot of feature films to this kind of status, um, they struggle to, to get this high rating with just this one location. Like it's very like unfamiliar mm. that you'd have like a big long like I mean what this is like a two hour film, you know? Yeah. In just this one location on this one island. Yeah, it's it's happened on this one island and it's still high enough to be this good of a film. Mm. Um which is which is incredible. The only kind of I've got like one last kind of little drawback um to this film. I, I think they could have been more creative with the ending in terms yeah. of Yeah how we find out he is Teddy um, at the end of an actual, an actual patient there. Um, and I think that sometimes the glimpse of the audience at the end, you know, that, that's key, is, is that ending. Mm. It was, don't get me wrong, it was gripping, but um, I think it could have just been a bit more creative with it, definitely. Yeah. So an 8 out of 10, yeah. Yeah. Do you know, so, right, so whilst we go, I was just making it now, I will be keeping track of all our ratings out of 10 and the movie. Um, the movie that which we do so obviously um, 8 out of 10 I'm going to join you on the 8 out of 10 club go for it there. go for it and I think again it's quite short the first episode but I mean as we go on we'll be able to talk more and it'll get a bit longer but yeah I'm going to join you with the 8 out of 10 now on to the next film see I don't know this yet I, I, which I'm, I'm excited for and it's a film I watched recently, but I will rewatch it. Ready? Um, I probably have to rewatch it depending when our um, schedules align. And like you, you knew. So people who don't know me and me and Rob have got together. And we've spoken about like the uh, like the structure and everything about this. I originally was going to pick Prisoners. Yes. And because it's one of my favourite films of all time. I love Prisoners. Yeah. I've changed my mind, as you can tell. I've said I've changed my mind. But maybe we will do Prisoners in the future because I love that film so much. De- definitely got to do it in the future, yeah. yeah. I'm doing another film because I know there's a certain someone who wants to talk about it as well. We're, I have, uh, I'm picking, you know what I'm doing, I'm yes. picking The Social Network. I'm down Obviously. for it. I, I've, I've seen it ones before but yeah like you say i need a rewatch definitely need a rewatch on it mm. yeah so i i need to rewatch it obviously we will be joined by a special guest i'm not going to give away who it is um but yeah we will have a special guest on that episode but a trio a tri- yes a little trio and yeah um I'll, any final points you want to say or anything like um I, I just just to say really like anyone watching this video who hasn't seen it, it's worth a watch. You know, like I, yeah, yeah, I get involved, see what see what you know, see what you think, and share your opinions because I think it's a, it's a really nice film. It's it like it, it's it's a great film. It's yeah. a great film. Scorsese's done well here. Yeah, um, definitely I, I not. It was, it was a novel. Like, sorry, yeah, sorry, yeah. Say, it, was, it was a novel that's been adapted to a film, but like how Scorsese has put it together is incredible. Yeah. Mm. 100 percent and yeah it, again like we like we've said so many times we truly do believe it's my space definitely not the worst and a comedy as some of the reviews that i have read um but again thank you so much for watching we will be doing more of these uh, as time goes on because i mean me and rob both have a mutual love for film and a mutual passion for it and obviously we get along we talk good chemistry might as well just kiss at this right but um obviously oh, you know, at least buy me a drink first <laughs> i will and i will put something in it i'm joking i'm joking <laughs> see that's the thing if you now like tweet in a couple of weeks saying you went out and your drink tasted funny that's not going to look good on me <laughs> so for legal reasons oh, it'll be, be on joke. the private account don't worry <laughs> <laughs> that's going to get clipped and just reused um but no um if there's actually any films you want us to review leave them down in the comments and maybe we will use them um because even if you know it's a bad film leave it down in the comments because i i want to get films where we can sit here for like 20 minutes half an hour and just say yeah that film was absolute shit yeah like it'd be good to <laughs> <laughs> but i do want films where we disagree and yeah, definitely although we got to be some out there 
Oh, hundred percent. Yeah. And although I know we found a lot of common ground with this, this is a film where if you and your friends go watch it, you might not agree on a lot uh, within this film. And I think that's what makes a good film is if you can talk about it in the way we have, and like you can have like deep conversations and detailed and everything like that. But it's Shutter Island, Social Network next um let me i believe both both films are on netflix aren't they like, yes I, I know Shutter island is i think social network is as well yeah, yeah i uh let me i've got my Xbox right let me double check because I, I know i've watched it on netflix um it's two hours long came out in 2010 96 percent on rotten tomatoes that's see steve they, they love it they love it mm. but a 7.8 on imdb why has it signed me out of Netflix again? For f- Give me one second. Uh, I don't know my password. Right. Yeah, no, uh, I've Googled it. It is on Netflix. Um, David Fincher, the director, he done um, what other films? I know he's done loads of films. I'm... Seven? I think he's Yes. Seven. Fight yeah. Club, Seven, Gone Girl, Zodiac, The Girl with a Dragon Tattoo. Oh, yeah. See, I need to see that Girl with a Dragon Tattoo. I, I haven't seen it. That as well. Yeah. So yeah, he he's done some fucking bangers, um, but no, I want to say thank you for joining me, Rob. Um, been a pleasure. Been been great no, doing it this. Has, it has. I, I, there's a lot of good points that you can get from from literally like a two hour film. Yeah, yeah. yeah like I didn't expect myself to have a lot of these notes, but I've I've made a <laughs> lot. You know, so I'm I'm and that, this, this is a film that I've seen, so I'm intrigued to see if there's any other ones that that are out there that I can. Mm. You know, certainly have a look for. And also, if we ever can't decide on a film, I have a 100 movie poster. Yeah. I know I've bought this to you. So if we ever want to just pick a number, we can pick a number and we'll watch that film and I'll scratch yeah. it off and we'll see if we can <laughs> empty that poster or clear up that poster. But no, thank you so much for watching. Um, I'll put all of Rob's socials in the description. It's been the HR movie department. Thank you for watching and we'll see you later. Goodbye, my friend.